I am Simi Sanders and I've seen a lot of videos online on the concept of metric modulation and a lot of people trying to explain what metric modulation is and doing exercises and showing off tips and tricks and how to play metric modulation when they're not playing metric modulation at all. So what is this concept of metric modulation that so many people are trying to do and explain? Well, I'm here to tell you all about it. A metric modulation is basically when a note value gets a new value. For instance, eight notes becomes eight notes triplets. You can call this a tempo change as well, but the new tempo comes from the old tempo's eight notes values, like so. A lot of people confuse metric modulation with phrasings and groupings. Playing a 5 grouping over a 4-4 four, four bar is not a metric modulation. That is more of a rhythmical outburst where you kind of flirt with the feeling of a new tempo. When you do a metric modulation, you set that new tempo from one of the subdivisions in your current tempo. In the next example, I will show you two bars of 4-4 four, four at 120 BPM and then two bars where I set 4 against 5 as my new tempo. So every 5th, 16th note will be my new tempo. As I explained earlier in the video, this is not a metric modulation in itself because I don't play the new tempo for a long enough time and the new tempo doesn't feel like a natural groove. But it's just a few examples to show you what you can do with this. Check out my other video, Meshuga Bleed, but it's metric modulated, where I put metric modulation into action. I do the three 16 notes groupings in the value of triplets. And then there are five groupings in the value of quintuplets. Feel free to ask me a question in the comment section. And remember to like, share and subscribe. Stevens on this over and out. Till next time.